Guys, this video is all about integration of Google Sheets with Bear Matrix. So Bear Matrix is a subscription analytics solution for SaaS companies and businesses. So if you're using Bear Matrix, you can connect it with Google Sheets with the help of this automation. And you just have to add the details of your customers in Google Sheets application. And the same customers will be added into Bear Matrix automatically. Let me show you how. To set up this automation guys, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli Connect. From here, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So I have pasted the same link in the description. You can just sign up right now from the link. And after that, you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. And this is how the dashboard is going to look like. And from here, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the automation workflows. And here you can give a suitable name to this workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as Google Sheets to bear matrix. All right, so after giving the name, just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation here. So in the trigger, you have to connect the trigger application. That means the application in which an event is going to occur, which is going to trigger or start this workflow. And the action would be the response towards the trigger or the consequence of the trigger, right? So first of all, here you can see in our use case, uh, the trigger would be adding of data of customers in Google Sheets application. So Google Sheet will be our trigger application. So search for it and select it like this. And then you have to select the trigger event as new or updated row option. So whenever a, a new row is going to be added, the workflow is going to trigger. Okay. So after selecting this, it will give you this webhook URL here. So with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with Google Sheets application. And to do that, you just have to follow these steps written here. Okay, so you can just read one by one and follow the steps. Let me show you directly how you can do that. So, uh, or what you can do, you can just watch the tutorial video also by clicking on this help text. And you will find our YouTube channel's video on video, making the connection uh, with Google Sheets in the trigger. Okay. Let me just quickly show you how you can do that. So I have opened my spreadsheet in which I have added the details of my customers in a separate incognito window. Uh, if you are using multiple Google accounts, just like me in the same browser, you should open the spreadsheet in a incognito mode so that you can properly connect it with Pavli Connect in the trigger. Okay. So here guys, you have to click on extensions and from this add-on section, click on get add-ons and from Google Workspace Marketplace, you have to download an add-on which is called Pabli Connect Webhooks. Okay. After installing that, refresh the spreadsheet and when you're done refreshing the sheet, the Pabli Connect Webhooks add-on will show up here in the extensions drop-down only. And from here, you have to click on initial setup and here in the initial setup, you will find these two fields, the Webhook URL field and the trigger column field. So in the webhook URL field, let me uh, erase this first. Here you have to paste the webhook URL that you got from your workflow. So go back to the workflow and click on copy from here. And after copying the webhook URL, paste the URL here like this. And in the trigger column field, you have to enter the uh, last data entry column or the trigger column. That means the column in which the data is going to enter finally, which is going to trigger the workflow. So we are going to enter the details starting from column A, then B, then C. Okay, so the C column is the final column or the trigger column. So let me click on extensions here and from this Pabli Connect Webhooks initial setup. First of all, let me paste the Webhook URL that I got from the workflow and the trigger, trigger column would be C column. Okay. And here we have this send a test button. And here you can see in this workflow, as I have copied the webhook URL, it started showing here waiting for the webhooks response. So this means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means uh, just go back to the spreadsheet and click on the send test button. 
So as you click on send test button, the data of the first row that you have in the spreadsheet will be sent to the workflow in the response section. Okay, so click on send test here. And here you can see it is showing us the test, the test data is sent successfully. Okay, now you can click on submit and close this window. Right. And here you can see in this response section, guys, we got the data captured like this. It is showing the name, the email and the customer ID that we had here in this customer data in the first row. Okay. And the same the data got captured here. Now we are done making the connection with spreadsheet and here it is time to connect bare metrics in the action step. So the action here would be to add a customer in bare metrics application. So you just have to come here in this action step and search for bare metrics. Here it is selected. And in the action event guys, you have to select this create, create customer option, click on click create customer, then click on connect. From here, select add new connection. And here it will ask for the API key of this bare matrix application. Okay, so you will find this key here in this bare matrix. Uh, in this uh, profile section, let me show you from profile, you will find this settings option, click on settings. Under settings on the left hand side panel, you will find this API option, click on API. And here are the APIs. Here I'm going to use this live API key option. Click on copy from here and paste this key here in the token field like this and then click on save and you will be connected with bare metrics like this. Okay, and here it is asking for the old email ID, the name of the customer, the email and the notes. So I'm going to use this data that I have received here as the test data in this trigger step. So here we got the data from our Google Sheet. Now let me map this data in this second step. So in this OID field, we are going to uh, map the details from the previous step. So just click here and here in the drop down, it will show you the previous step like this. And when you click here, it will show you all the data that you have received in the trigger. So from here, I am mapping this customer ID that I got from the spreadsheet. And now it is asking for the name. So similarly, I'm going to map the name and the email address like this. Okay, so when you map the fields here like this, what will happen with every with every execution of the workflow, these labels are going to be updated and new data will be filled in bare matrix, right? Now you can check your connection with bare matrix by clicking on savings and test request button and a new customer will be added here inside uh, bare matrix. Let me show you here are the customer section. And right now we have uh, these customers, we have 10 customers. Let us check our connection. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And this is the response we have received. Let's see in bare matrix if we got the data. Let me refresh this page. And here you can see test dummy customer got added here 10 seconds ago. So this is the same customer that we had here in this spreadsheet now got added here in bare matrix like this. Okay. Now you can further uh, do whatever you want to do with this customer, right? And we are done setting up the automation as well. And you have to set up this automation only once after that, you don't have to do anything manually here. After that, whenever you are going to add the details of any person in the spreadsheet, the workflow is going to trigger. And uh, we have one more way also. Uh, let me show you if you have already present, the, uh, if you already have the details of all the customers present in your spreadsheet, and now you want that all these customers should be transferred to uh, bare matrix for any reason. For that, you just have to follow the same process. The, uh, the other thing that you have to done is click on extensions and from this public connect webbox option, click on send all data. So when you click on send all data, all the details of your customers will be added one by one into bare matrix automatically. So guys, um, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, Please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. 
and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel